All right, in this video, I'm going to do one more example of multiplying complex numbers, and I'm going to finish off the example that I didn't finish a second ago, which was to multiply i times the quantity 6 plus 4i by the quantity 2 minus 7i. All right, so again, since you're multiplying, we can either multiply the i by the first, uh, the first factor, or we can multiply the i by the second factor. You definitely don't distribute because there's not a plus or a minus in there. And I think what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to do the multiplication between the 6 plus 4i and the 2 minus 7i. Again, a couple different ways that you can simplify this stuff down for sure, but this is the way that I'm going to do it. So again, we, we still have to distribute as in the previous example. Um, so 6 times 2 is going to give us 12. We'll say we'll get 6 times negative 7i. That'll leave us with a negative 42i. On the inside, if when we take 4i times positive 2, that'll give us positive 8i. And then I think positive 4 times negative 7 is going to give us negative 28. Then we have i times i, which is i squared. Okay, so I'm going to continue simplifying inside the brackets. So the i is just hanging out front. We have 12, let's see, we've got negative 42i plus 8i. I believe that's going to give us a negative 34i. We still have our minus 28, but we can replace our i squared again with negative 1. So really on the inside, we have 12, we have a negative 28 times a negative 1. So that's really 12 plus 28. 12 plus 28 is going to give us a positive 40 minus 34i. So I think I've done about all the simplification I can inside the brackets. So now I'm going to distribute the i to both terms. So uh, what we have i times 40, which is simply 40i. And then our negative 34, we have an i times an i, which is i squared. So again, we can use this trick one more time that i squared is equivalent to negative 1. So really we have 40i plus 34. And again, typically you'll write, uh, y y the convention is to write the real part first and the imaginary part, which is positive 40i. We'll write that second. And now we have multiplied out this original expression. You could have certainly multiplied the i, you know, for example, to the 6 and the 4i, and get 6i plus 4i squared, simplify that down, and then distribute all that to the 2 minus 7i, collect everything, and again, at the end of the day, you'll end up with this expression, this complex number, 34 plus 40i is your answer.